This is what we do. We just chill and vibe before it's time to go in here. Uh, try to get the game plan together. Um, we don't look and check. We, who we got to check for? We got to check to see Malik Curtis out here. Who else missing? Who else on, on, on the milk card? Um, Jeremiah Payton. But, them but he may be a while. He ain't got no number. Yeah, just them two. Malik and uh, Jeremiah. Um, Cam Williams is, is done. He uh, done? He done. Monte Williams done. Stop asking me about that guy. Um, Who has to have uh, Monte? Yeah. Because they. I guess somebody somebody must have created an account and saying, oh, He'll be back. I got over that. I was like, nah. I got over that with the linebacker. Who the linebacker had who was really good for us that had the dreads? The one that was from Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got over that. Kids coming back with the linebacker. This the, when they gone, they gone. Yeah, it's done. It's done. His situation, yeah. Monte's situation is a little too serious. The state picked it up, so. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Girl, I went to the hospital. That's all bad, though. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. What them boys still boating in that way? Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight get K. And stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. O line, D line, gonna uh -huh. be all the way to the short side of the field. Say it, what is gonna be? What's the setup gonna be? O line, D line, gonna be all the way over here to the right short side of the field. Uh -huh. Running backs, receivers, quarterbacks, they gonna be the most visible ones. And we're going to be able to back against the wall. We're going to be able to see the quarterbacks, running backs, receivers. I don't, I don't, I don't recall being in that. Yes, yeah, Peter, why so. are you not capturing the D-line and the linebackers? Because they're so far. I mean, um, and we don't have that, that type of equipment to – we don't have a telescope. I mean, they're so far, you know what I'm saying, that we can't really capture it unless you sat there and focus on it. Then it would be a bunch of people just walking across the front of the damn camera. I mean um, – I, they do that on purpose. I'm sure they do. They walked us over there one time and, and had us actually in front of the D-line. Um, one time I remember we they did that. Um, we, we was able to record. We was able to record. But I don't know why they did that that day. They walked us to the other side of the field. And they, they allowed us to record the D-line. And um, the O-line and the D-line. But since I've been coming here for six years, it's been that way. That the O line has been off. All the way on the other side. Yeah, and I'm sure when we go into the here into the to the indoor, because they're in the indoor facility today, I'm sure the O line gonna be in the office practicing somewhere. They're not gonna be around us. That's and, and that's just that's just how it is. I wish I can go to somebody else's practice and and engage and, and try to get an understanding of why the O line is so secret, 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 secretive. Um, why the O line is so secretive? But X say. He knows what the setup gonna be in here. I mean, from and the, the previous running backs years, in front of us. We gotta get the running backs. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because they don't get, we don't have them in front of us often. You got that, Twan? Previous years, you're gonna have quarterbacks. Normally, when you walk in, quarterbacks gonna be to your right, throwing to receivers. Running backs gonna be over to the left. They doing their running back drills. Then they switch it up. Quarterbacks will come, you know, stuff like that. So we normally only get them, especially the, the, the skill players. You might get a little bit of DB. That's when they go like team or skeleton or seven on seven. Might get some of that. But no, you remember? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. But if you say so, we finish to find out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how it used to go previous years. If you say it so, we about new. to find out. It might be a new. I only want to use that no more because that was bad for us that year. The new Miami. <laughs> well, we was bad that year. Were we bad that year? Yeah, we lost the FIU. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> hey, hey, you got time. 20 minutes ain't that short, short. You understand? Right now we got uh they just switched up everything. We finally got some eyes on the O line. If 
finally. They ain't doing they pushing the pads. They're pushing the pads. Devon Donaldson just went. And Jerry Williams just went. Yeah, so we always want to get so we always want to get footage on the O-line because we never get the O-line. So we're in the indoor facility today. And we get the O-line. I don't know if watching the O-line is interesting. <laughs> you tell me, but we but we but we don't often we don't often get them, so we got them today. And right now they just fight the ball hitting pads. To the right of me, we're in some type of we got the defense out here to the right of me. Uh, doing like a, a rally to the ball drill. So at linebacker, man, at linebacker we've been seeing Sneed and Jenny. Uh, we've been seeing Sneed and Jenny at linebacker uh, often. That's that. That was the first day of practice, and maybe not the third day of practice. Walking through practice, man. You get, Give a class and dap me up while we're walking through practice. Uh, Cheney, we got Cheney walking around with a red jersey on. He was out there when they went when they went seven on seven. Cheney was. Cheney was out. Cheney was out there. Quite a couple passes, um, but I think the red jersey mean like light hitting or something of that nature. I guess we got the beat. Chase Smith is a large striker, also. <laughs> a, a large DB, also. Let's see what they have them rated at. Have them listed at six two two ten. He's the biggest DB we have. I mean, where, where do they have Gilbert Ray listed at? He's the biggest striker we have. See, we just on period six. And Gilbert Firestein, 6'1", 210. I don't know about that. He's a pretty, pretty, pretty big guy. So far to the right, man, we got uh, DBs over here far to the right. And further at the end are the wide receivers. So that's good because we get to see the wide receivers all the time. Um, I hope y'all can hear me with the music in the background playing. I haven't seen Malik Curtis yet. No Pope. I haven't seen Pope out here today. Malik Curtis should be with the DBs. Right in front of us, still a lot of strikers. Pants she got on. Pants look cool. Yeah. Give a full look at what we're looking at in here. Miami Indoor facility is, is, is one of the latest ones built, so it's probably one of the more modern ones. It says it's the only facility with a full. It's better than Florida State Field, I tell you that. I've been in Florida State Field before. It's over the D-line, man. Over the D-line, we got a D-line hit, hit, hitting, we got a D-line hitting dummies. Doing, um, doing the dummy drill, hit, you know the dummy drill. Run around hitting the dummies. They hit one dummy, then they run around hit the other dummy, then, then they make a circle, you turn back to the other and tackle the dummy. 
I'm sure y'all looking at it on video. I don't know why I'm explaining it. 99 look a little explosive there, bro. Jordan Miller. Jordan Miller. Jordan. That was Selena Teddy B. That was, what's his name? Mallory? I don't know. Hillary. Hillary. Oh. Huh? Jordan, um, Jordan Miller looks a little. And he's, he looks good out here. He looks good in the one on ones and he looks fast. He, he, look, he got a little. First step off the ball, he looks fast. And Linda Taylor right there, right? No. Is he? Let me tell you, didn't look smooth in that drill, though. He, no, I ain't see it. He didn't look smooth. He didn't look smooth. He, he didn't look, he, I'm sure Leonard Taylor is, is his natural, his natural talent and his strength is um is what got him here. I mean, why ain't equipment? Oh, yeah, we is missing number three, number ninety. We are missing number ninety three, right? <laughs> He's not dressed out, he's standing on the side. So you say Lena Taylor, Lena Taylor look good in the one-on-ones. We got Jakari Clark up next. Here's Jakari Clark. Hmm. Zach McLeod. Zach McLeod. 6'2", 254. Zach McLeod got some little skinny legs. <laughs> Let's see how Zach. Let's see how your boy Zach McLeod. Zach McLeod didn't look smooth on that drill either. Jafari Harvey, Jafari Harvey, Jafari Harvey looked good. Number 84, John Neely. 